What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Dip and Diesel channel. Today we have a very exciting part to install on the old Cummins here. Just installed that five inch exhaust and that turbo compression housing. I did get a new bolt. I re-tapped the threads on there. I do have to get a bolt that actually has like a built-in washer with it. Um, but that was one that I can get readily available and um, now we have the alternator brace stuck on there. But the exhaust is not what this video is about. This video is about pack brake. For over 50 years, pack brake has been an industry leader in auxiliary braking and tow slash hauling solutions for the diesel aftermarket. Not only does pack brake have airbags, train horns, exhaust brakes, and much, much more for Dodge trucks, they also have them for many makes and models like Chevy, Ford, GMC, Toyota, and more. Go to packbrake.com and see how pack brake can make your driving and towing experience that much better. So pack brake sent me out the helper airbag system. We got the airbags that fit. This is an actual universal model, so this can actually work on multiple different trucks. Um, but it does work on this 2001 Dodge. Um, they also send out the wireless controller. So this is gonna control everything. This is the brains of your operation. This thing connects right to your phone through the app. You can control the PSI of the right side, the left side, and then the input is where your air is gonna be coming into. So this thing controls everything. You don't have to worry about filling up each side with an air compressor. You don't have to worry about letting air out of each side you can do it all from that wireless controller through your phone so that's super sick they also sent out the air compressor that's going to work with this module and they also the air compressor came with a tank um, this tank is a little bit small so i'm probably going to upgrade this to maybe the two and a half gallon um, because i do want to get some train horns in the future and i'm going to need a bigger air compressor than i think that's a 0.5 gallon so a half gallon tank. The air compressor kit that came with the tank also comes with a bunch of accessories. It has a hose in here. It comes with just a bunch of stuff that you can use to fill up your tires and stuff like that. Other than that, we have a whole bunch of wiring for the wireless controller and the um, air compressor itself. It's a whole bunch of different wiring. If you guys haven't noticed, I've only shown you one bag. That is because I've already installed this bag on this side just to get a feel for how it goes on and um, what I need to do. So basically, I'll give you a quick rundown. Obviously, it's just U-bolted to the leaf pack. Um, this is actually a spacer, so you don't really need to use this, um, but I just threw it in there just so I didn't have to tighten down on all these threads. Um, eventually, I'm gonna cut these down so they're not sticking up as tall, but super easy to install. Drill a 3 8 hole into your frame. There are some kits for other makes and models that just bolt to the axle and I don't even think you have to drill into anything, but this kit, I did have to drill. Not a big deal. Drill bits run right through the frame, 3 8 hole, bolt everything down. Don't tighten the bag to the mounts until after so you can actually position them right. Um, and yeah, that's all there really is to it. So um, let's go ahead and start drilling on this driver's side. Get this one installed. And before you start drilling, you can see there's nothing on that side that's gonna hit. So this side you got um, some wires, some hoses, steel hoses back here. So you wanna make sure that you're drilling in the right spot so you don't hit anything. But um, yeah, let's go ahead, install this left side bag, and then we can start working on the control module, and then we can start doing the wiring and mounting everything up and stuff like that. But I'm super excited to see these things in action, so guys, definitely stay tuned.
All right, guys, we got both of the airbags in on driver's side and the passenger side. They are looking amazing. But now we have to do, I wouldn't say the hard part, but the more time consuming part. And that is mounting up the air compressor, the air tank, and the wireless controller. So I wasn't too sure of where to put this wireless controller because the U-bolts that they give you this frame is way too thick to fit those u-bolts so you're supposed to put it inside the frame rail uh, which i can't because of the u-bolts this is pretty much the only spot on this cross member that i can put it okay forget everything i just said here's what i really did Long as the oh yeah, we're good. I'll go ahead and zap some uh, bed bolts in there real quick, and then we'll throw the toolbox on. All right. Now I'm about to show you what I did as far as the wireless controller, the air tank, and the air compressor. In my opinion, this is the cleanest. It's not the way you're supposed to do it. The way you're supposed to do it, mount it along the frame rail. Um, I'll show you pictures on the screen right here of where you can mount it. So that is the proper place. But in my opinion this spot inside the box if you guys don't have a box mount it where you're supposed to mount it but here is where i think is the cleanest for this install so as we open this up boom so we have the wireless controller we have the air compressor and we have the air tank so we have the line going from the air compressor into the tank we have the pressure shut off valve so we're not going to overfill the tank that's going to get hooked up to the wiring for the air compressor so it knows when to shut it off and when to turn it on when the tank is low and then we have a line coming off of the air tank going to the input of the wireless controller and then we have another line that's going to come off um, this one is going to get routed down um, i do have to drill another hole so what i did was i drilled holes into the bottom of the toolbox i put rubber grommets and then on the bed, I actually put more rubber grommets so when um, the air lines go through the, the bed and the toolbox, they're not gonna get cut up, they're not gonna get chafed by the metal, so it's gonna be a really clean install. I'm gonna send the left and right hoses down. Those are the two front holes right there. And then this wiring harness is gonna go through the back hole, and then for the wiring harness for the air compressor, and the shutoff switch, they're gonna go down through there. And then I have the exact same holes in the bed with rubber grommets, so it's gonna be a clean install. You're not gonna see any wires, except if you look underneath, um, you may see the wires. I don't even know if you'll be able to actually see them. You'll be able to see them, but it's not gonna be as noticeable as you know wires running uh, from the back right here. I was gonna send it through the hole that was already in the toolbox on the side and then just run them down but that wouldn't look really clean um, this line actually is for the um, air filter for the compressor so I'm just gonna mount that um, on the back of the toolbox but you can see the, the rubber grommets right here we got three right here and then one in the middle I personally think this came out really dang clean I would have mounted it underneath the truck but I didn't really have a spot for it um, that would make it as clean as that in the toolbox if you guys don't have that um, I'm not really sure where to put it underneath the truck um, but hey we got the bed back on we got the toolbox back on and all we have to do now is just uh, run the lines for the uh, airbags and run the wires so there it is let's get to work finish this thing up and see what these babies are all about
So there it is guys, that is the install of the Pack Break Helper airbags. I personally think it came out super clean. I ran all the lines through the box, through the bed, so you see no wires whatsoever. You are actually able to see them a little bit underneath, but not as noticeable as if you ran them behind the box and then down. I love how it turned out. As far as the wiring, just go ahead and follow the wiring diagram. Connect whatever wires need to be connected to the wiring harnesses. Everything is provided as far as wiring. I actually cut off probably about 10 feet of wiring harness. So they give you a lot of extra. I actually cut about a six foot section, maybe a little bit shorter than six foot. I ran it from the fuse box in the cab to the engine bay so I can have that key on ignition source so the compressor only turns on when I turn the key and when the truck is running. As far as the air compressor and that air tank, they both are rated up to 150 PSI. You're gonna have plenty of air pressure to run both these airbags on this truck. They actually give you an air compressor that is overpowered for what you need it for this. So there's no compromise in air pressure when you need it. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and check out these airbags. What you're gonna do first is download the AMP Wireless app on the Google Play Store or Apple Store like in my case because that's gonna control your wireless controller through your phone. Now, as you can see on this app, we got uh, two PSI and three PSI. On the le left side is the driver, right side is the passenger, so I can just hold this button on both, and it'll drop both of them down to zero PSI. And you can see that they are completely empty. And then we can go ahead, I will do the left side so I can show you right here. So it's now it's inflating, it's lifting up the back of the truck, and these things are rock solid at about 40 PSI in this side, and then I can go to the right side. Right side is completely flat, can add air. Now they're about about the same 38 and 37 psi and now i'll drop both of them back down to zero you can hear it in the cap So that is the install for the pack brake airbags. I'll leave a link down below where you can find this exact kit. You're gonna have to get the airbags, the wireless controller, and the tank and compressor all separate, but I'll link everything down below to where you can easily find it, packbrake.com. Huge shout out to them. This video would not be possible without them, so definitely go check them out. But if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. If you guys aren't subscribed to Two Dips, go over to Two Dips. That link will be in the description below for my second channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Dipping Diesel, out.